Everybody, I want you to meet the people that Justin Trudeau says are the most dangerous in all of the land. This is the International uh, Practical Shooting Federation. They are experts on professional use of firearms. And we have here, for example, Joy. You're a national champion, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. Justin says you're, Justin Trudeau says you're a very dangerous person. Are you dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank no. God. You had me nervous there for a second. I have so, all the training. You have all the training. Yes. How much training have you gone through to become a professional in using firearms? I have probably been shooting for the last 10 years, and I train every single week to practice and be better at what I'm doing. And have you ever been convicted of a, of a violent crime? No, never. Never in your life. And you have to go, before you could get your your permit to, to own a firearm, what kind of training and vetting did you have to do? I have to do a PAL course. Um, after that, we... PAL is Possession and Acquisition License. License, yes. absolutely. Go on. Yes. Yeah. And then after that, we actually, all of us are PAL holders. Um, we can be um, checked 24 hours surveillance. Um, the police can just stop us with no reason because yeah. we're all PAL holders and that's all, yeah. Right, and how many of your firearms are going to be banned under Justin Trudeau's Bill 21? Just the number. Um, I think I'm going to have probably about five in my third collection, and then the handgun ban would fall through, then that's going to be another pair. So basically, <laughs> Justin Trudeau is going after Joy, but at the same time, he passed the law C-75 that allows violent reoffenders who have done bank robberies, extortions, even killings, to have same-day bail when they are arrested. Here in Vancouver, 40 offenders had to be arrested 6,000 times in one year. That's 150 arrests for each and every one of them because Trudeau's catch-and-release bail laws make it possible for those offenders to be released the same day they're arrested, even when they have long records of ugly, violent crimes. We're not talking about young people who make a small mistake. We're talking about lifelong, perpetual offenders. So here's my idea. Instead of going after Joy and all of these professionals, why don't we take the billions of dollars that it would cost for Justin Trudeau to go around and recollect all the hunting rifles in all the rural communities? Why don't we take that money put it into more policing, a re reinforced border to keep out the smuggled guns that are responsible for 82% of violent crime, and, and get rid of his catch and release bail policies to put the bad guys behind bars. Why don't we do that instead of going after these hardworking, law-abiding, patriotic Canadians? What do you think? Yeah. 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 We've got all of these great people on board. Are you on board? If so, let's bring it home. Yeah. Yeah.